it's actually going to be picked up right away here. The fanny is open. Mm -hmm. They're going to lock it in. Yep. Ani is doesn't doesn't help that. Like it's, it's so hard still to catch a fanny with a carry. So is this a? Where is the Faramis going in this case? Is it mm -hmm. Keyboy? Is it a Rome Faramis? A Faramis? Mm -hmm. Yup, yup, yup. Sans, and it is a roaming Kadira. Watch out, look, Momo! Oh, already. So soon. Yeah, so very That's the plan, on. that's the game plan. That's exactly what you were calling. Kyrie, though, first blood drawn by Yumski. But instead, they went the complete opposite. It's a total langar. Mm -hmm, Just mm -hmm. bumped straight into the goal, into the jungle. That's the idea. And even Onik, they, they are a little bit more aware of what Yumski is trying to do, but Kyrie is losing levels of time. Yeah, there's, I mean, Yumski is going to be half, going to be careful here if no! he can, but Kyrie able to take the revenge, gets the kill. But Rival now should be able to just secure himself a purple buff. Makes a breeze for the first turtle here. So that's already huge, at least in, in terms of economy. But here in the mid lane, Yoom's going to be the focus again. Oh, Can he get what? away? One hit, he's going to bob and what? weave and survive. The Mo moves and grooves. Moves and grooves. I'm holding my breath. Yeah, so same. <laughs> so they can't answer uh, on a conventional way. And then you just fire them up. Look, it, it grew up to about a thousand and thousand and change. Yeah, it, the bleeding has not stopped just yet. Yeah. But this is a comfortable position for Onik, right? I was about to say one key advantage that at least Onik has is TW is ahead. TW is is getting a lot of items, building up. But wait, no, oh, oh. underneath mid. Kyrie once again pushed out of the jungle here. Very of even if you're as tanky as Boots, Kyrie's still getting harassed as always. Only a turn that goes down. Kyrie from the backside though can't get a kill. It was almost there, but he's gonna fall here. Boots though gonna fall as well. Chico guys take it out, but it's a one for three trade. Quickly. At this point, Keyboy hasn't really farmed up. Couldn't stay in the lane. Get the XP. Get the gold that he needed. He just could not. And then you're looking at Rival who's at level 15, level 14, Keyboy's at 11. Just the base stat growth just made the difference. On the crystal, that was key. all the difference. That was key. Oh, they're still going to be going for it. It's CW, though, that falls here to Yumski. Now Rival on the hunt for Sans. Can he grab the kill? Gets the cold bolter down. Tempest of Blade's going to be popped here, and it's Chiku, guys, taking out Kyrie. Going to flicker in and gets Keyboy as well. Todak is looking to end the game here in a huge match for Onyx, e Onyx Esports. They're doing now it. they're going to wait for that wave to come in. Weird World Middle Base is going to come down. Boots trying to do his best to stall out. But now the wave's going to be charging in. Todak looking to end the game. Rival focusing on the crystal, and that's it. Todak takes the game against Onyx Esports. Now we have it. Todak winning both their matches here, and they've even taken down Onyx. But don't worry, nobody's going home. This is only the first taste of M4. Congratulations to Todak. The one way that they could have done it, they did. They langered on through. Minute zero. They gave Kyrie hell. Minute zero. They took down Kyrie. They took down first blood. And by God, if I'm getting this correctly,